Hello, everyone. I'm Tong Song Miao, a senior researcher at the Department of Network Platform in Tencent. Today, I'm going to talk about our deployed optical telemetry system in Tencent. The title is Detecting Ephemeral Optical Events with Optel. Cloud service providers such as Tencent have set up as many data centers as possible to accommodate their internet service. Those providers always own and operate their ones to interconnect data centers. At this point, ones are the workhorses of cloud service with exchange of terabytes of data every day. Under the hood, the optical backbone network is responsible for geographically data exchanges. It's composed of optical hardware and fiber cables. Specifically, each optical transponder unit converts the electrical signal from the rotor into a specific wavelength. The set of wavelengths are combined or split with the MUX and the DMUX, which is fed, further fed into the fiber cable for data transmission. For long haul transmission, there are always amplifiers to deal with the transmission loss. There is additional optical supervisory channel that monitors each span of the fiber. All of those optical components have a possibility of failure. Degradation or fail of any of those components would affect service level agreement of services. With the longer failure time, the lower SLA. According to the network industry, the average cost of downtime is estimated to be about $8,000 per minute. Thus, we should troubleshoot the events in time to reduce the cost. In this talk, I will present a novel deployed optical telemetry system that troubleshoots optical events in a few seconds, which is orders of magnitude faster than the state of the art. But this is not easy. It's very challenging to achieve the efficiency of troubleshooting those events. In the following slides, I'm going to walk you through the challenge of state-of-the-art telemetry system, our design telemetry system, and our operational experience in optical network. Let me start the first one. We have concluded that there are three main reasons that result in inefficient monitors of optical backbone. Firstly, the control plan for most optical backbone is highly fragmented as it relies on vendor specific controllers to manage individual devices. Since each vendor specific subsystem implements its workflow, it's not easy to directly manage those heterogeneous devices. Therefore, the existing telemetry system inherited this fragmented design via a centralized controller interface with vendor-specific controllers to collect data. Such a fragmented design inhibits flexible and direct access to fine-grained optical data at scale and would further hinder synchronized view of the network, affecting their ability to troubleshoot various optical events. Secondly, since real-time troubleshoots of optical events require collection of high-precision data, the inherent flows of SMP-based telemetry system is not, not suitable for frequent data collection. Specifically, the workflow of SMP is shown below. The controller firstly sends the SMP get request to the SMP manager in the device. Then the manager transverses the table in the MIB data set to, to one by one to get the function to obtain the data from the LAN card. This process is slow and consumes a significant number of CPU cycles. Finally, the data is reported to the controller. Such request data ones and push data ones process would make it difficult to scale data collection frequency. Figure shows how polling delay changes as the number of indicators increase. We observe a linear relationship between the polling delay and number of indicators. It takes tens of seconds to collect tens of indicators. Our interaction with the vendors reveals that this linear relationship is attributed to their choice of serializing read requests for multiple indicators, reading only one at a time. The design choice limits SMP CPU usage as the device set at the cost of longer polling delay. As a result, 
SAP based telemetry pipeline introduced the CPU and time consuming workflow, which is improper for high frequency data collection. Certainly, telemetry system needs to concurrently collect data from all devices to ensure a consistent view of the network. However, the vendor-specific controllers always run on physical server with fixed resources. Unsurprisingly, a linear relationship between polling delay and number of devices is also due to their serialized request as a controller with a fixed set of the results. Such inelastic computing results affect the ability to correlate the data across devices on a short time scales affecting real-time troubleshooting of the events. For conclusion, existing systems are not designed to support such intense data collection and real-time data analysis. Thus, they are not only unable to detect ephemeral optical events, but also slow in detecting and troubleshooting the more disruptive persistent events. The design goal of Optail is to detect all optical events, especially ephemeral optical events, and meanwhile, troubleshoot optical events in real time. With such goal, let me introduce the design and the implementation of Optel in details. The design of Optel is to address the formation challenges. More concretely, to address the fragmentation issue, Optel bypass vendor-specific controllers by using standardized device model to control optical device in a vendor agnostic manner. To address the data granularity issue, Optel introduced the push-based optical telemetry to reduce operation at the device set. To address the scalability issue, the centralized controller has access to an elastic pool of resources in the cloud to perform real-time event detection. Specifically, we develop a standardized model for optical device that abstracts away the vendor-specific details. To achieve the goal, the logic model firstly identifies a group of logic components that are common across devices from different vendors. It then standardizes the workflow between those components, considers the case of optical transponder units with different capacity, the logic model firstly identifies four main logic components across all vendors, Ethernet, ODU, OTU, and OCH. This represents the critical function of the device. Then the logic model specifies the workflow between those components. Such an abstraction enables the standardized representation of different optical devices. On the other hand, since the capability of physical components inside the device is different across vendors, although their functions are the same, we design a component data model to accommodate with this. For example, optical amplifier data model defines the range of the gain of different amplifiers, thus all heterogeneous devices could be controlled in a unified way. We then introduce the push-based optical telemetry to reduce the operation at the device set. The low CPU overhead will not introduce bottleneck at the device, thus supporting high precision data collection. Specifically, the controller firstly sends the young file to the telemetry manager. The manager passes the file to configure the telemetry agent and the aggregator with the source and destination of data and the periodicity to push the data. After that, the telemetry agent reads data from different modules and periodically push them into the local cache. And the aggregator periodically push the data to the centralized controller. In this way, the device is configured once and the data is pushed periodically. This process does not introduce much computation overhead at the device so that the data could be collected with high frequency. In order to hold hundreds of indicators collected from thousands of devices at every second, we introduce a cluster of collectors. With the aid of Cloud's elastic pool of results, that can scale horizontally by adding or removing the collector nodes over time with a load balancer to distribute the load among collectors. After data being collected, the analytics analyze the data in real time. We have stored the signature of the optical events for faster troubleshooting. 
However, for those optical components that cannot be directly monitored, we take advantage of Topo Manager to aid troubleshooting. Consider the case of fiber card. It's not possible to directly collect the data from the fiber. The analytics should use the Topo Manager to identify the two terminal devices at each end of the cable to study the status of fiber. Finally, I will introduce operational experience in production one. We use the optical telemetry data set. Note that compared to the traditional system, which you always use minute level data, Optel use one second granularity optical data, greatly increase the system's ability to detect optical events. We first characterize optical events based on their impact. We investigate the impact of decrease of received power on indicators at physical, data link, and network layer. Then we define the fiber degradation as it that affects physical layer indicators, but not affects data transmission in the data link and network layer. Then we study the length of the optical events. There are 15% of events last for less than 10 seconds indicating that the prevalence of such transient optical events in the optical backbone. We then use 10 seconds as cross line to classify ephemeral and persistent events. Therefore, we have four different types of optical events based on their, the combination of their impact and duration. The persistent interruption indicates that the event causes 100% packet loss and it continues for a long time and the persistent degradation indicating such a long degradation does not affect the packet transmission. The ephemeral interruption indicates such an event cause short-term packet loss, while ephemeral event show a short-term degradation that has no packet loss. We observe both degradation events and ephemeral events are prevalent in the optical backbone. We firstly compare our optel with existing telemetry system on CPU overhead as a device with different collection frequency. By increasing the collection frequency from 10 seconds to 0 0.1 seconds, we observe SMP-based pipeline CPU usage increase to 96%. Because SMP consumes a significant number of CPU cycles to traverse the data, it prevents the high frequency data collection. However, the CPU usage only increases from 19% to 25% with optical telemetry. Once configured, the device only needs to periodically initiate a connection to push the data to the controller. This process does not introduce much CPU overhead. We then study the accuracy on detecting optical events. Firstly, we observe that the total number of detected events decrease when the collection fre frequency decreases because the collection frequency lower than 15 seconds cannot detect ephemeral optical events. Surprisingly, we observe that the number of persistent events detected by the 15 second granularity data is more than that with one second. This means a portion of persistent events detected with the coarse green data are not, not actually persistent. We then study the true positive and false positive of detecting persistent events. We observe, especially for degradation events, majority of ephemeral events are identified as persistent events. Finally, we evaluate the time efficiency on troubleshooting optical events. The existing system takes about five to 10 minutes to troubleshoot a fiber card event. However, it cannot troubleshoot the fiber zit event. In contrast, Optel only takes several seconds to troubleshoot all fiber-related events, reducing the time by orders of magnitude. In conclusion, Optel uses standardized device model for fender agnostic control. Optel U introduced Optel tele telemetry for high precision data collection. Optel takes advantage of Tencent clouds for large-scale data collection and real-time data analysis. Therefore, Optel detects ephemeral events and enables troubleshooting optical events in a few seconds. Thank you for your attention. 
We welcome more colleagues in the community to join us and explore more with hyperization data. Please email to me if you have any questions and collaborations.